Hello, welcome to the vlog. Um, today, where are we? Well, we're in deepest Star Wars Cornwall and uh, we've come for a ride out to a, um, a miniature railway. Uh, we're at the Lapa Valley. Now, I'm lucky enough to know one of the drivers on the, the Lapa Valley and uh, this is Lee. Yo. Uh, right. Lee, Lee is going to be, are you driving at 10 o'clock mate? No, I'm driving at 10.20. Oh, we're on at 10 o'clock. Oh, I'm not driving that one. Um, okay. Should we just wait? Can we just get on the one behind? Yeah, you can get on my one if you want. Excellent. Yeah. So, we're going to wait for the one behind and we're going to get on the 10.20 and um, three train, train, three train sets is there? Is it no, one? there's two trains. Yeah. Two sisters, one in them. So I've got Ellie and the Ruby. Okay. And then when we get to the other end, they still got the little one running around. Oh, yeah. Excellent. So we're going to uh, we're going to find out a bit about the Lapa Valley, a bit about the Lapa Valley, and uh, what it was, what it is, what it is now, what's down now. Uh, come and have a look with us. Right, back soon. That's it. Ride on the footplate. You don't get this very often. There we go.
Hello, mate. Right. Well, that was absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Professional. Eh? Hey? Professional. <laughs> for you, wallet. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't move quicker for that. <laughs> no. no, they they get it anyway, mate, don't they? So, so what can you tell me about this? She's 16 years old, yep. built by a company called Exmoor Steam Railway, which is North Devon of Bratton Fleming. Yeah. Uh, same as her sister. Uh, she's the better one out of the two sisters. Uh, more room in the cab. Yep. She was originally built as 12 and a quarter. Right. For a private um, housing, private estate. Yeah. Uh, owner then sold it back to the uh, manufacturers who we gauged it to 15. Yeah. She's been here since 2017-18. Nice to drive. It's an easy mate. Oh, absolutely brilliant mate. Absolutely brilliant. Really smooth. Really, really smooth. Yeah. Well, Lee was telling us earlier that this mine um, had one of the worst ever mining disasters. Um, and on Thursday the 9th of July, uh, 1846, 39 uh, men and boys lost their life in a tragic um, accident. Um, well, I don't know if you can call it an accident. It was actually related to heavy thunderstorms. Um, just after midday, uh, on the on Thursday the 9th, there, there was a really heavy thunderstorm, uh, which it, it lasted uh, an hour, about an hour and a quarter. I'm actually reading this, so I do apologise. Uh, the mine captain reported that within five minutes of the rain starting, water was flowing in tolerance down tolerance down the hill. Despite efforts to dam it, the uh, the, the shaft of the mine. Um, rapidly started to flood uh, at 300 feet. There was 200 miners underground at the time and 39 of those lost their lives. So this is the engine house which you, we shall go in and have a look at. Um, but there is the actual shaft. Um, it's as high as the shard. Or it's just, sorry, it's as deep as the shard. Um, in depth um, and 10 times the height so it's 292 meters 960 feet or 160 fathoms
the frog. And Let's give you a little bit of history of the, uh, the Lapa Valley Railway. Um, it actually runs uh, on one of the oldest track beds uh, in Cornwall. Uh, in 1843, JT, JT Trefree, Trefry, uh, a pioneer uh, of Cornish Railway, suggested building a tramway between Parr uh, and uh, the Graham ports of Newquay with a branch to East Wheel uh, Rose Mine which um, at the time um, was in its most prosperous period uh, and is, this is East Wheel uh, as I showed you earlier. Um, it took over six years uh, to overcome local opposition uh, and there was many modifications needed to, to, to get the actual uh, railway built. Uh, it was eventually built from Newquay to St Dennis with a branch off to East Wheel. Uh, the first cargo ore from East Wheel, weighing 30 tonnes, was carried in a horse-drawn tub to Newquay Harbour on the 26th of February 1849. Uh, in 1847, following an Act of Parliament, Trefree's um, network of tramways, including the East Wheel Rose Branch, was taken over by Cornwall Minerals Railway and horses were replaced by steam locomotives. Unfortunately though, the uh, Cornwall's Mineral, Cornwall Minerals Railway, that's very easy for me to say, uh, didn't have it all its own way and in uh, 1896 was taken over by Great Western Railway. Uh, they saw an opportun opportunity to boost uh, passenger trade in Cornwall uh, in competition with the London and South Western Railway by linking the increasingly popular holiday resort of Newquay, Perranporth and St Agnes. So this branch of the railway, the East, Wheel, East Wheel Rose branch, was upgraded to carry passenger trains and became part of the new network uh, beginning at Chasewater on the main line to London. The completed passenger line opened uh, to the public uh, in 1905 and greatly improved the mobility uh, of local people who could now gain access to the market town of Truro by train. During the Second World War, the line was upgraded to mainline standard for use as a diversionary route in case of the line between Truro and St Austell uh, was blocked by uh, enemy air raids. If you look carefully at the bridge at uh, Merthyr, halfway along the steam railway, you can see that the arch has been widened uh, to allow uh, wartime traffic, including f tanks and flat wagons, to pass under. From in the 1930s until the late 50s, the branch line from the coastal resort was very, very busy, particularly with summer holiday makers. However, by the early 1960s, road transport uh, was becoming increasingly competitive and a government called for a review of the uh, nationalised network. Beaching obviously did his business and closed it down. So on the uh, 4th of February 1963, the last standard gauge train ran along the branch line and the track uh, uh, and railway bridges were quickly removed. What happened from there was 10 years later in 1973, Eric Booth brought the section of track 
that the Lapa Valley Railway runs on and um, that's where the story of the Lapa Valley Railway begins. It's, uh, it's now in new ownership. I'm not actually sure of the new owner's names, um, but I'm sure I can find that out later. And um, the, the steam engine driver Lee was telling me that the actual track uh, from the main car park area goes back a few miles. The track, sorry, the track bed goes back a few miles, but uh, it's all overgrown and can't really be used. Ideally, uh, could be a cycle path, I guess. Um, I guess the more you can cycle in, the more easier it would be to attract visitors. But this has definitely changed in the years that I've been coming. I, I probably came here in 1973. I'd been all of four, five, and um, it's changed over the years for definite. But there's a lot more to do now. Some of the attractions have been upgraded, some have been closed, some are no more. The three trains are still running quite happily. All different to, all different types of rolling stock and they've actually got some really good new rolling stock there as um, as you'll either see or have seen within the video they've got stuff that's been here for only a few years having been in private ownership and upgraded and, and regaged but there's loads to do here uh, loads to do for children it's a really good day out anyway Enough of me talking, let's, um, let's have a look, see what we can find to have a look at, and uh, go from there. Well, this is all new. This is, uh, well for me it's new. It's been a long time since I was here. So there's another danger, deep water, I'm just uh, assuming this is all to do with the, the mine shaft. So let's go in and see what's in here. Well, I don't know how, but I've been talked into going onto the swans. I'm not pedalling, I'm going at the back. Yes. So, the next time you see me, I'll either be wet or on a swan, or both. So look, we're floating. We can literally stop and float. And we're about... How deep do you reckon this is? Not that deep, I can see the ground. And this is the view from the uh, from the, the thing. Come on chauffeurs. Me and Patch are quick. Come on speedboat speedboat speed, come on. Come on. Let's do this. Come on, hub two, three, four, hub two, uh, guys, three. We're gonna, we're gonna be caught up. Wet now. It is, it's starting to spit a rain. This is our cue to run.
Please wait until the train has reached a complete stand and allow any passengers to disembark before boarding. Whilst the train approaches, please stand well clear of the yellow line and the platform edge.
we've had an absolutely brilliant day and it has just started to rain so I think we've done pretty well from half past nine this morning it's now just after four um, and this has been the Lapa Valley Railway I hope you've really enjoyed uh, being with us having a look around I hope you enjoyed the footplate ride which I was very lucky to get um, it was absolutely brilliant really really enjoyed it so um, if uh, if you have enjoyed it then uh, give us the thumbs up if you don't already then please subscribe and then above all ring that bell for notifications we'll be back in the next video bye for now